What's up everyone? This is Jaloy. Welcome back to another video. So, today I was going through my motherboard manual and found that MSI has a cool new feature called Live Update 6, which basically allows you to update the BIOS from Windows, which I found super convenient and wanted to give it a try. For those of you who don't know, you need to download a program called MSI Dragon Center, which has this Live Update feature. I already have it installed, but you can download it from the Utilities tab. Anyway, in the MSI Dragon Center, navigate to the support tab and you will find the live update feature. Just click on the advanced button and it will fetch the current version of the BIOS and let you know if there is any update available. I check the checkbox and click the install button. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. After a few seconds of processing, it restarted my computer automatically and did not display anything. I waited for an hour but nothing happened so I forcefully shut it down by holding down the power button and guess what, it no longer posts. In short, updating the BIOS via live update has effectively bricked my system. In the events such as this one, first of all, don't panic because recent motherboards have couple of ways to deal with them. Before we do anything, make sure your system isn't plugged into the wall or the PSU is switched off. The very first thing you can do is clearing the CMOS. Locate a small battery like this one on your motherboard and remove it by pushing the lever away and the battery should pop out automatically. Leave it aside for about a minute or so. Next, locate the clear CMOS jumper. For me, it was labeled as JB81. Depending on your motherboard, you may have more than two pins. Consult your motherboard manual and figure out which two pins have to be shorted in order to clear the CMOS. Take a metal object like this screwdriver and short them by contacting both the pins with it and hold it for around 10 seconds. Lastly, press the power button a few times to drain any stored power. Once done, put the battery back in and prepare the system to test. Here I have put everything back together. Let's press the power button and see if it works now. This may take some time, so please be patient and do not turn off the system. It worked. The system detected that the CMOS has been cleared and also detected all the components successfully. From here, press F2 which will load the default values, so all my previously applied BIOS settings will be gone. Hopefully, this will post and we will be able to see the BIOS once again. And here we are, system successfully posted. To conclude this video, I wouldn't recommend anyone using MSI's live update for updating the BIOS. I will release another video demonstrating how to update the BIOS with the flash drive so be sure to subscribe. Anyway, that's been it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.